Hello everybody, Mr. Harry here with the YouTube channel about how to get new sounds from your guitar using objects. Today we're gonna talk about brushes. Well, there are different kinds of brushes you can use to play guitar. The first one is a normal, very simple brush for paint. Let's have a listen. Okay, now we have another brush for paint, but smaller, and you will see it has a different sound. If we change the kind of material of the brush, you get another different sound. If you use a plastic small brush like this one, you get this sound. Now let's listen to a brush for shaving. It, uh, it is a 9 on 1. If you change the kind of the brush, you get another sound. Now, we use a brush for fingers, but if you use it uh, parallel to the neck of the guitar, you get an ugly sound like this. You have to angle the brush a little and then you get a usable sound. If we use a plastic brush for kitchen, like for example this one, you will get a very mid-rangey sound like this. In fact, I would use it not just for rhythmics, but more for accents or for doing something like a, a mandolin. And obviously, if you play here, you get a warmer sound. If you play here, you get a, a more a trebly sound. Okay, but there are other um, different brushes for kitchen uh, that we can use and have uh, good results with. For example, one flat like this one. Or a big, big one like this one and it has more brushes and another time and uh, a different sound okay the last one we're gonna i'm gonna show you today is this one is a brush for drums and it has a very, very cool sound. Now, I will show you how I use brushes in my songs. 
and I will use two different kind of brushes, one for the rhythmic part and another one for the essence. First of all, I'm going to mute the first two strings with this because I don't want them to resonate. And then I play with the first brush, which is this one, and as a full uh, uh, sound, um, the song is called Stay Away and it goes like this. And that's all for today. See you next time.